Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com and today I am building a DIY electric bicycle using this Ruby X electric bike conversion kit. Now I wanted to test this one out specifically because it's supposed to be a very simple, very easy to use kit. It uses an older technology which is friction drive, but it's got some pretty cool innovations. So let's open it up and get to installing it. All right, let's see what we got in here. The instructions, probably useful. And the main event here. This is the Ruby electric drive kit. I mean, this is the whole unit right here. It's got a mount, and then I believe this is the uh, pedal assist sensor, but it's basically all here, which is what makes this so simple. All right, now the first thing it says I do is I install the lock mechanism on the seat post of the bike. All right, so this is the clamping mechanism. This goes on the seat post here. This bike happens to have a suspension seat post, so I'm gonna install it right below, and hopefully I've got enough room here. We'll see how that goes. You want to make sure you get this lined up nice and straight with the tire here. Now I'm apparently supposed to install the sensor on the left crank, so I'll turn the bike around here so we can get to it. Then we'll install this on the inside of the left crank. Apparently it just sits right in here. Okay, and I guess we pull this battery tab out. We'll slice off these cable ties. All right, the sensor is installed. Does not seem to interfere with anything, so that's good. Just kind of sits there. So the next thing the instructions say is I install the additional battery modules here. So underneath, pull off this cover. And then this cover should pop off somehow. There we go. And now it looks like it comes with one battery in there, but I've got these other two, so I can put three modules in. All right, there are my three modules. Now I can pop this guy back on. And now it's a matter of putting all these tiny little bolts back in. All right, and so now the next step is to charge the Ruby X, but I don't want to wait that long. And these batteries usually come with a 50% charge, so let's just start riding it. What do you say? All right, so you're supposed to push this into the mount and then you'll hear a click. There we go, click. For those of you that are a little worried about this, just know that lithium batteries usually come with a 50% charge and it is totally fine to use them without charging. The reason manufacturers tell you to charge it first is so you don't get half of the range you're supposed to and then complain to them and want a refund. But there's no problem with using lithium ion batteries with their storage charge, which is about a half charge. All right, now we release the suppression system. So you push here. Ooh, got a little gas cylinder up here. All right, so that put the roller in contact with the rear wheel. Now we turn Ruby on. Turn on the Ruby X by pressing the main button. Okay, lights turned on. Select the desired power level. So I guess if I push it multiple times, yeah, there we go. We can get different power levels. Assisted pedaling. To enable electric assist, simply pedal forwards. Electric assist will be enabled from three to five kilometers per hour. Once you stop pedaling, Ruby X goes into free rolling mode. Pedal assist to re-engage electric assist, all right? Oh, there's regenerative braking too. I didn't even realize that. All right, to enable regen, stop pedaling forwards and wait for the Ruby X to stop providing electric assist. Then turn the pedals backwards half a turn. Ruby X will engage the regenerative braking and charge the battery. Oh, that's cool. All right, cool. Let's give it a shot. It is on. Oh yeah, I'm definitely getting assist. All right, I can definitely feel it. It's not like crazy powerful, but it's also probably because I'm on this grassy field here and I can't really get going that hard. All right, but it's definitely working already. Let's take it out onto the street and see if we can put it through its paces a little bit for an initial ride.
So yeah, I mean, pretty cool piece of kit here. It's nice and lightweight. I mean, the whole bike stays pretty lightweight and the unit's decently powerful. It's pretty cool that it has regen. Um, the only thing that like kind of bums me out here is the disengaging it. So to engage it, you push the button here and it, a little stiff, there we go. And it drops it down onto the tire. To get it back up, you pull the handle back up, but the unit here has a pretty strong gas piston. And so you have to push down on the bike while you pull it up and then it locks in and now it's not touching your wheel anymore. And then again, you just push the button and drops it down onto your wheel. So it's a little annoying that you really gotta like put some uh, counter force into it. But uh, other than that, I mean, there's not much to complain about. The fact that I have a suspension post here complicated my install. Be great if I could locate this a little higher up. I might swap it out for a non-suspension seat post. And that way I can get the uh, unit mounted a little higher on the seat post. And then I'll have a little more clearance here when it's lifted up. But still, I mean, this works for me. It's just for shorter legged riders, you might have a problem. So. Yeah, all in all, I'd say this is a pretty cool kit. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. For a friction drive, which isn't really new technology, they've done a good job of incorporating a slick design here that's actually got some innovation in it. So nice work, Ruby. All right, that's it for today, guys. Uh, last but not least, before I go, it is time to announce the winner of the giveaway for my last video. And the randomly selected commenter is... Terrain Rendezvous, my new French friend. So congratulations. Just let me know which one of my books you'd like. You can choose from DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or my latest book, The Electric Bike Manifesto. Let me know where you'd like me to send it, and anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books for free, all you have to do is put a comment down below. You can say anything you want. You can tell me what you think about the kit, or you can just tell me what the weather's like where you are today. And hopefully you will be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you here next time.